Hello friends and welcome into my house. I didn't have time to get up to my studio today to film the intro, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a setup. Today's challenge was set by Britta Clayton and it was so much fun. She did a color palette, which I'm gonna try and put in a picture up here. And um, I, when I saw the color palette, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. So Karen Durston and I did a collaboration a few months back and she did this gorgeous cloud pour that reminded me of a wave at sunset. So when I saw these colors, I knew exactly what I was gonna do with them. So let's uh, get to the painting and thank you so much for being here. Okay, so here we are with the colors. For my base coat, I have some drips that I've saved and strained. And then for my main colors, for my traditional metallic, I have Iridescent Gold Deep from Golden. For my coffee, I have Rich Espresso from Deco Art. For my opal, I have Fire Opal from Treasure Gold, Folk Art Treasure Gold line. For my blood orange, I have Burnt Orange from Golden. This is one of my favorite colors, love that. For my dark teal, I have golden turquoise deep that I've added a little bit of Prussian blue in to give it more of that teal color. And then for the lighter teal color, I just added a little bit of white to that. And then I am adding white to this pour and I'm using Artist Loft white and I've added just a little bit of a healthy squirt of the um, what's it called? Uh, Vallejo Pearl Medium. So that's going to give me some nice uh, cloud effect. Okay. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really. And we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do Yeah No, nothing's complicated
Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow home. Golden, 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 golden thing. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow them golden 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 things gold hair gold ring Sadly, when I was cleaning up my table and moving my wet paintings back to do the wet walkthrough, I hit one of the corners with a cord. 
and messed it up. And after trying a couple different things to fix it, I decided to just completely scrape that corner and put some of my uh, turquoise tealy mix down. And I do think that this worked really well. Um, it looks pretty apparent when it's wet that something was changed, but once it dried, it evened out really nicely. And I think once I varnish it, it'll be absolutely perfect um, because there won't be a sheen difference then. So yeah, you know, sometimes if you have a mistake or you mess something up, you gotta get creative and don't be scared to try to fix it. I mean, if something's already messed up, what's the worst you can do? And here we are with a little wet walkthrough. Let's start with this guy first. I want to show you the fix I did there, which I am really happy with. I think once that dries, it's going to be just fine. Um, but man, look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's definitely giving me the kind of beachy sunset vibes that I was going for. I like that you get a light cloud effect without it being overpowering. And I'm really glad that I decided to use the iridescent gold so that it would stay where it's supposed to stay and not get real bossy like the 24 karat would. And then over here, again, this is, I think it's very pretty. I'm really loving the effects. Look at those little wispy bits. Yeah, so I definitely feel like this pair belongs in a house in Florida or, hey, if you're here in Chicago and you just want something that brightens your day and feels nice and sunny, this is for you. And here we are with the dry walkthrough. I am really happy with these. They definitely have the oceany, sunsetty vibe that I was going for. And just look at these colors and the details here. You do see a little bit of texture from the paint that was on there previously, but I think that this just turned out gorgeous. And I think a, a couple of coats of varnish will help even that out. So yeah, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you have a beautiful one and that your preparations for the holidays are not driving you crazy and that you can do some art and relax and enjoy the season.